Welcome to Calisthenics Through the Ages. I'm Rob Peterson, I'm 54, and this is a channel about calisthenics and body weight training for older athletes. This video is part two of a series on how to learn the bar muscle up. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about kipping, the relationship between kipping and the fast muscle up, and using the kip and kipping muscle ups as stepping stones to get to the fast muscle up. What is a kip? Here's my best attempt at a gymnastic kip on a bar. But that's not the only kind of kip. This is also a kip. And so is this. And so is this. Oh, I'm uh, not used to doing it on a mat. So is this. Don't! Oh! Um, that time the sun got in my eye. So is this. Now, that stuff is not as easy as I made it look. Okay, okay, that was probably the world's worst kip on rings. In my defense, I don't think I've actually tried one of those in about 25 years. I'm just happy it worked at all. And I had never actually tried the ones on the ground before the day I filmed those. I made about 10 attempts of that uh, kip up from my back before I finally landed one. The one I just showed was my first successful attempt. Uh, note to self, probably better to actually learn the skill before trying to film it. Okay, but what does kip mean exactly? Kipping is a general term that refers to some sort of fast momentum transfer. All the kips that I'm familiar with involve kicking your legs upward, generating a lot of upward momentum, then transferring that momentum onto your upper body so that it rises quickly. Before I start with the tutorial, I'm going to do something that's probably not in my best interest, which is, I'm going to give credit to someone else. Training Pal has a very nice video on this topic. In that video, he argues that the easiest way for someone to get their first muscle up is to try for something that's about halfway between a kip and a strict muscle up, except that he calls a kip a uh, gymnastics muscle up. Labels aside, I think that's a very good strategy. I'll put a link to his video in the description. You should definitely check out that video after you finish watching this video. Okay, back to the bar kip. Let me try to illustrate what I mean about using the kip as a stepping stone to get to a muscle up. Here's the kip again. Maybe it's not obvious exactly how it works, but it should be obvious that it's not a pulling move. It's somehow done using the swing and the leg kick. I don't have the best technique. I'd call what I do about 90% kip and 10% muscle up. This next one is about 50% kip and 50% muscle up, and it does involve some pulling. You can see that I'm pulling with my arms. It still uses momentum. My legs pull toward the bar and then kick away but it's not as dramatic or as forceful as in the first one. And here's my best attempt at a fast muscle up. Here there's almost no swing, and the move is clearly done primarily by pulling on the bar. I am cheating at some, there's a little bit of swing, and I do bend and then straighten my legs, but there's no upward kick. I'd say that this last one is about 90% muscle up and 10% kip. There's a smooth continuum between a pure kip and a pure muscle up. You should be able to start at wherever is easiest for you on that continuum and then progress toward a strict muscle up or progress toward a pure kip if you're interested in that. A gymnastics kip doesn't really require much upper body strength at all. If it's done properly, your arms stay completely straight. The strength that is required is mostly core strength. You have to pull your legs to the bar quickly, which is kind of hard. Then you have to kick them outward forcefully. The fact that your upper body shoots above the bar is entirely because of a transfer of momentum. You don't pull upward with your arms at all. It is difficult though, because it's a complex series of movements and it's hard to coordinate everything. The main point of this video is that if you can learn the kipping technique, even imperfectly, you can use it to get to your first muscle up. And getting that first one is a huge psychological barrier, even if you're cheating it like crazy. Once you get that first one and you realize that it is possible for you, training it is a whole new ball game. And I also want to point out that the middle one, the one that's about half kip and half muscle up, is the one that feels easiest to me. The video I just showed you was the first time I ever tried it. It was surprisingly easy, I just popped over the bar. So I would say that if you don't care about the kip, you just want to learn the muscle up, start with the halfway version and go from there. I'm going to attempt to describe how to do a kip and give you some progressions to help you work toward it. I'll be describing a proper kip, but remember that even if you just want to do a sloppy one with bent arms and bent legs, all the same stuff applies. Swing back and forth on the bar so that your body is about 30 degrees away from vertical. 
At the front of the swing, just as you're about to start swinging backwards, bring your feet to the bar as quickly as possible. Your feet need to come to the general vicinity of the bar by the time you reach the halfway point of your backward swing. That is, at the point where your arms are more or less vertical. At that moment, you kick your legs hard upward and outward. If you kick hard enough at the right time, this will raise your body high enough that when you swing forward, your upper body will end up above the bar. You do want to be a little careful though because although you're not pulling with your arms per se, there is a lot of force pulling your body away from the bar, especially as you kick. I've sometimes felt like I almost came off the bar, so please, use chalk or do something to make sure that your grip is solid. And hold on to the bar tightly so that you don't go flying backwards off the bar. I would definitely recommend going slow and especially working on the progression that I'm going to show you in a minute. Now, of course, your end goal is a muscle up, so you should be working all the standard stuff. Pull-ups, explosive pull-ups, and dips on a bar. Incidentally, if you can't do a muscle up yet and you need to get to the top of a higher bar, the easiest way is to do a pullover. If you can't do a pullover yet, I made a tutorial video. Hopefully a link to that video is showing up there in the corner somewhere. Anyway, all of that stuff is great for muscle ups, but for a kip, you don't need to work any of it. The only part of a kip that requires strength is the part where you pull your legs to the bar quickly. If you're having trouble with that, you should work on leg raises. But there's one exercise that I think is really valuable for learning a kip. I don't know what to call it. It's kind of a half kip. You do it just like a kip. From the front of the swing, just as you start to swing backwards, bring your feet to the bar quickly. When your feet get to the bar, thrust your legs upward hard. You should feel a definite pop upward when you kick your legs. It should feel like you would go shooting up over the bar if you just did it a little harder. You can do it with your legs straight or with your knees bent. It doesn't really matter. This exercise really feels like a kip. It will help you to figure out how to coordinate everything. I strongly recommend practicing this. You can really get the feeling of a kip, plus you can gradually work your way into doing it more and more forcefully. This will also help you get used to it so that when you really go for the kip, you don't tear off the bar. Now, the difference between doing a high one of these and a kip is mainly just commitment. At some point, you just have to go for it. Maybe swing just a bit higher, kick a bit harder, don't forget to hang on and just visualize your chest landing on top of the bar. Remember, if you get there somehow, even if it's ugly and painful, that's a success. Once you've done it once, the whole thing will get much easier. So what do you do once you have the kipping muscle up and you want to get a strict muscle up? Well, one thing you can do is just keep practicing. Work on your explosive pull-ups and work on your kipping muscle ups. And at some point, either your kipping muscle up will become strict or one of your explosive pull-ups will land you on top of the bar. Or you can work on band assisted muscle ups. I'm not going to talk about that now because that's the topic of the next video. Look for that one coming soon. But now I want to add one thing at the end. I'm going to talk about CrossFit muscle ups. Now in principle, I think CrossFit is great. I like that they train many different things and how they take a more complete view of fitness than many other disciplines. But man, they sure do some goofy things with pull ups. Naturally, CrossFit has their own unique style of muscle up. Here's a video of a CrossFit guy doing it. Now, it's a very cool move, no doubt, but take a close look. There's a huge swing. It seems to involve a tremendous amount of momentum. His arms stay completely straight. He kicks his legs out at the end. Reminds me of something. Hmm, where have I seen something like that before? That is a kip. They do it a little differently than a gymnastics kip. They arch like crazy on the front swing, then they snap upward on the backswing, but it's definitely a kip in the sense that they're using a transfer of momentum to lift their body. Maybe they could just call it something else. Let's see. The recoil rise? The spring potential pop? No, wait, I got it. I got it. The cross kip. It's perfect. Now look, I've got nothing against the cross kip. Here's a video of me trying a cross kip. I can sort of do it, but it's not great. I'm gonna work on my cross kip just because I think it looks cool and I'd like to get better at it. My problem is this. If you heard the term muscle up for the first time, you would probably assume that it's a move based on strength, not technique and momentum. Calling that thing a muscle up is false advertising. It's like calling these pull ups. Oh wait, yeah, that does kind of make sense. In making this video, 
I've thought a lot about what separates kips from muscle ups, and I've come up with something that I'm going to call Robert Peterson's Law of Kips, and that is for muscle up type moves where you're moving from hanging below a bar directly to a support, if your upper body becomes closer to horizontal than vertical at any point during the move, that is, if it deviates from vertical by more than 45 degrees, then it's a kip, or at least it's more kip than muscle up. I think it makes sense. If you're going to kick your legs upward to generate momentum, your upper body has to be leaned back quite far. I think that's a good practical way to distinguish between muscle ups and kips, and a good way to keep yourself honest. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and subscribe for more content like this. And please leave a comment if you have any thoughts about kips, muscle ups, or anything else that I've discussed. Good luck and happy training.